Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I'm assuming you've just watched part one. This was my first Floetrol so-called scape. And it has some really nice things about it. Shimmer especially. But it's too uniform for me. And I want to play with the sky. And I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. I have lots of nice scapes. And I'm thinking that I'm going to just give myself some permission to do some strange things and see how they work out. That is a Anita's white metallic with some Venetian blue. This is an old color shifting folk art. Not much left, like dregs. This is another Anita's product, white metallic with some neon pink from folk art in it. And I'm going to use whatever paint I have on my spatula to go right over the edge. And I'm very tempted to bring in some hot orchid because I didn't I don't think I even had hot orchid when I did this. So I'm going to do, where is it? I was going to do some white. Just put the hot orchid right in it. And since I'm already there, maybe some Arteza. I think it's a lilac. I know it's a, I know it's pearlescent and metallic. I don't want any of that canvas showing through, and I had some showing through from the last time. It still seems to want to do that. I'm figuring the black at the bottom is probably going to wind up being mountains, and I would actually prefer it be purple, but I don't need to worry about that right this moment anyway. And I am changing the sky pretty drastically. But, like I said, I really don't mind. Oh, that just came out a second ago. That's not even possible. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I hallucinated. No, that was the part Arteza. Okay. Rain on for safety. <laughs> we need some safety. Let's just do everything we just did. And then some. I'm just going to lead some of that right over the side right now. I'd like to put some lighter color at the bottom, to be honest with you, because I keep looking at sunsets going, huh, the horizon's really light, because that's where the sun is setting. <laughs> it's my dumb moment. don't mind the, the sky darkening up at the top. I wish that bottle that I had just tried was open because I want that darker purple. You take any of my paint that's dripped. Get my torch out of my way. I like the double process scapes even more than you would anticipate. They're not scary. They're just fun for me. I like them a lot. I do have a little bit of canvas texture there. It's nice to use the blade of the spatula when you can, but it's a little, a little tricky. Slightly tenuous. You gotta sort of keep an eye on what you're allowing. I'm gonna use a Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just going to grab a cheapo dollar store palette knife. Scrape off my spatula. Hey, funky clouds. I like that. What's a little texture? Except for interesting. I could do that wherever I want, actually. Just to interrupt, well, I could be a little more careful, I think. 
So that's kind of cool. I like it. I'm thinking about my mountains in the background. And I said I was going to contemplate some purple. Whether I want it to be the darker purple or the lighter it depends on how fast this bottle is going to open. And it's not opening very quickly. But I don't think that the other one is probably any more. Oh, it is. Cool. Okay. So that was some Decor at Americana 24 karat gold that I put a little splash of orange in. And I'm just going to keep playing with all of this and open this bottle. Pardon me for taking a moment. I have to change the top in this actually because I split it cleaning it out so many times. What other color would you put in there if you were me? Something lighter, I think. I'm contemplating right now just playing with my um, palette knife. Just putting a little tiny dribble of that blue in there and seeing what happens. I never did put any trees in this one. At least that's a little more interesting than it was. I don't promise it'll stay that way. But it's definitely more interesting than it was. I want something right through here. And since I finally have that bottle of purple open, I'm going to use it. The nice thing about having a metallic background and a fairly sheer cover, color going over the top of it is that some of the background will show through and I like that. I wasn't expecting to completely annihilate it, but seeming as I did, never mind. Because this hot orchid just thrills me to pieces when I put it in. A sky. It's like being someplace I want to be suddenly. I see that thing I'm dragging. Why am I dragging that thing? What is that thing? Come here, thing. You can only be a dog hair or a filament from Floetrol. Yeah, I'm not unhappy that I lightened up the sky. I could go back and put some more of that Prussian blue right in the top. Which is actually kind of an interesting idea right now because I want to combine it with some of the Anita's laced Venetian blue. I didn't really want to splishy splash in there, but that's it's okay. I'll make it work. Star Trek in forever. I was going to put a big moon in the sky. I'm going to try and put some trees across the front up there, but I might just leave it moonless for now anyway. Looks a lot more like twilight than it does moon time. Just scrape off anything and everything. Try not to leave too many marks. Try not to leave too many chemtrails. <laughs> All right, so there's my new sky. There's always a chance I might run out of time. It looks like I've used up a lot of time. I'm going to throw some flow troll into this dish that I like to use. 
grab some of my green gold. Some of my emerald, really? No? <laughs> some of my emerald green color shifting. They're both color shifting. I don't know if I want gold, but I definitely want some more copper. I totally do not want to destroy all the best parts of this, but I would like to add some more stuff that's interesting to me. This is my enamel and it's plug. This is my regular black mixture. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. Underneath show more, you'll find my email address should you be interested in contacting me for the purchase of an artwork. I kind of want some darker stuff in there, but I think that black is going to do it. Maybe a little more of this. I have a piece of plastic under my foot that's from a from unwrapping a canvas. Unusual to see that there. I want something unusual in this too. Do I want it to be red or orange? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna risk a little orange. And while I'm at it, how about some more? How about a little tiny tad tadpole of Anita's white? And I'm going to use a larger card, am I? Yes, maybe. I'm going to use the edge of my new bevel. And there's the only, there's the flow troll I'm putting on there. Just needed something that creates a little more of a bizarre effect, I guess. And why don't I grab my smaller card now? I hope I get away with this. I want some black in there. I find that if I put drops of paint in that I get stripes when I pull them, which probably everybody but me realized. I have another filament. I'm being affected by filaments today. Come off of there. That's why I try and keep my cards clean. Why don't we just go up above Create something interesting. Some formation of land that's got more interest than what I had in there already. And we've got to do it here too because I could try and wipe up that piece, that little dot of black, but I don't know that I want to. Well, that's already more interesting for me. I'm going to borrow some more color from other places. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of that, those, those gold-topped mountains entirely. I've got some Chrysocolla, which is a new color from Color Art, and I'm very tempted to try some of that, too. And I'm going to run out of time, so I can't put my trees in right now. But this definitely looks more like a desert scene. And what do I want in the foreground? Anything? Something other than those two dots. I haven't used any of the Prussian blue in this process yet. I have some really pretty colors in there I'm about to destroy. But I like the idea of adding... So 
something to the foreground. Hoping you can see some of that. Just occurred to me I was probably out of frame. I do apologize. I like running the card back and forth to create what looks like plateaus. And this is now going to be referred to as the ledges. I could probably quick like a bunny attempt to put some trees in there, but I'm not sure yet if that's what I really want. I do love putting that card in and dragging it to create those new layers. I'm going to show this to you. So stage two is pretty much a complete change. Oh well. Wiped off my card. I've got two minutes to tell you whatever I want to tell you and uh, the same two minutes to probably put some put some trees in here if I want to and I probably could. I think what I want to do is use the edge of my little acetate card here and I know I got a little tiny pan that you, they used to be on my Amazon link but <laughs> they're not there anymore. I pulled them off because somebody told me they paid ten dollars for a bunch of them. Oops. Well, I've got a very dense forest over there on that one side. I might be playing with those for a while when you're gone. So what should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing below the video. I just added some cool, cool new stuff. I am going to take some more black and use the edge of my tweezers with a little bit of schmutzy paint on there and just use them to dab in some of the silhouettes for those trees. Which for me works pretty well. Might be a little risky. But I like that I'm getting two dots at the same time. I did, I have been doing this for a while. I'm not sure I ever shared with you that I was doing it. But it's the points on the tweezers that just pick up the paint, just like it's pretty cool. I'm very tempted to put a little bit of green in there. A little more green in there. I'm going to pick that up on my palette knife. I've got one minute left to tell you guys that I run a monthly drawing and you can find out what the prizes are. They're, they're at the beginning of every exhibition video that's already shown on the last 20 seconds of every other video. This over here is bugging me a little bit. I'm not sure what to do about that. I think it needs something like a little bit of Prussian blue. There, now we've got a little more, a little more what? A little more of a mountain. So I'm not sure about these, these central colors still, but I am liking sticking my palette knife with the Prussian blue in there. I'm gonna call it good and say, there's over 1800 videos. If you wanna find them, they're on my playlists, all playlists, creative playlists. And my email address is below the link tree. Should you be interested in making a purchase or inquiring about a lesson, that's the place to, the, the email to use. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links, and lots of other great stuff all on my link tree. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. And you're still here. Wow. I could have told you more stuff. <laughs> thank you very, very much for all the contributions, and thank you for your wonderful comments. You keep my morale boosted.
I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my community board for tomorrow's video.